Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Andrea. I film videos all about cruelty-free beauty products, and today I wanted to sit down and talk about my most repurchased makeup products. I have a mix of drugstore and high-end products, but these are the products that I buy over and over again. I went through my collection and pulled out everything that I've purchased multiple times, and I think this is a pretty good indication as to which products are staples in my collection. If I purchase them after I run out, it usually means it's one of my staple products because I've been trying to go through and use up products so a lot of times if I run out of something I will just use something else but there are certain products in my collection that I have to have so I repurchase them every single time I run out so I wanted to share them with you guys in today's video so let me kick it off with foundation I actually don't go through foundation super quickly but there are two foundations in my collection that I've gone through at least like four or five times each so the first one is the hourglass Spanish seamless stick foundation now I will say that I go through this foundation fairly quickly because you don't get a ton of product you only get 0.25 ounces, which is not very much compared to like the standard one fluid ounce, but a little bit does go a long way. So while it doesn't last as long as like a typical liquid foundation, it lasts an okay amount of time. It's just such a good foundation that I will totally spend the money on this every fall and winter. This is like a fall and winter staple for me. It's very hydrating. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It blends out seamlessly, but it still gives you amazing coverage. I have oily skin, so I can't really wear it during the spring and the summertime because my skin gets really oily by the end of the day. But during the fall and the winter, I can deal with it because I love the product so much. This actually isn't a product that I use a whole lot these days. I haven't really used it a lot during 2018, to be honest with you guys. But it is a foundation that I've purchased at least four or five times. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. I do like this when I want a super, super full coverage look. But in 2018, I've been going for more of a lightweight foundation. I do still like full coverage, but I just like something very light and very comfortable on the skin. The Urban Decay All Nighter can feel a little bit heavy on the skin, but it will stay in place all day long. So if you have a long day, if you have like a 12 or 15 hour day ahead of you, and you want a foundation that's full coverage and mattifying and stays that way all day long, this one's going to be a great option. So as far as concealers go, I'm not really loyal to one specific concealer. So when I run out of one, I usually repurchase a different one or I'm always trying something a little bit different, except for the ColourPop No Filter. I've repurchased this like four or five times because it is such a good concealer. It's kind of like the perfect all-in-one. It's blendable, it's smooth, it gives great coverage, it doesn't really crease, and I actually like wearing it as foundation as well. So I currently have like four or five shades in my collection because I couldn't decide which one to wear as concealer and foundation and I will not stop repurchasing it. It's so affordable, it's such a great option. I have repurchased the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water quite a few times. Now this product does last a while. It's not something that I use every single day, so I don't go through it very, very quickly, but I've repurchased it like three or four times ever since I first tried it a few years ago because it is such a great product. I love using it all year round, and currently I am using it almost every single day. It used to be like a spring and summer essential for me, but my skin has been slightly dry, so I've actually been enjoying it a lot during this fall season because it just leaves my skin feeling so hydrated. So whatever I put on top just goes on really, really beautifully. So I'm kind of on a powder kick. I've been purchasing so many different powders trying to find just my absolute favorites. It's kind of like my product of 2018 and I've just been having a lot of fun using different ones. But there are two that I've continuously repurchased. The first one is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I go through this very quickly because it's a very powdery powder. So I feel like that is one reason why I've repurchased it so many times, but I love this. It's such a great mattifying powder. I don't know if it's going to be a staple for me during the fall and the winter because I loved it all spring and summer, but it is so mattifying, but it's also very lightweight. So I just really enjoy it. It's super affordable. It's like three or four dollars. So if you're just looking for a mattifying powder that doesn't add really any extra coverage that's translucent, this one's a great option. So I've also repurchased the Urban Decay Velvetizer Translucent mixed in medium multiple times. I want to say around three times, which isn't a ton, but I do go through this product very slowly. So I've repurchased it ever since I discovered it. And when I run out, I run out and grab it. So it is a product that I have in my collection constantly because I do use it to set my under eye concealer, which is so 
random, but for some reason it locks my concealer into place. I do have under eye wrinkles, so of course concealers usually crease on me, but this product sets the concealer into place so well. I don't know what it is. I don't use it on my entire face because it does have a tendency to look a little bit cakey when I use it to set foundation. I haven't tried for a while, so maybe I'll try it out again, but I do loving or I do love using it under the eyes. And then of course you can mix it in with foundation to make your foundation a little bit more matte, a little bit more velvety. So I've gone through a few of these. Okay, let me talk about a few eye products. I know I talk about this mascara all the time on my channel, but I've repurchased the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara so many times. It is my number one repurchased mascara because it's my absolute favorite. I actually did not have it in my collection for a while because they were out of stock and I was just trying some other mascaras. And after I kind of rediscovered it a few months ago, I don't think I'll be without it because it is my favorite. It's so affordable. It's so much better than a lot of my high-end mascaras. So I will definitely continue to repurchase it. It's kind of really the only mascara that I've consistently repurchased for a few years. I've repurchased the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion so much. It is my number one eyeshadow primer. I've gone through other ones and I've tried other ones and they're okay, but nothing compares to this one. It's my absolute favorite and I will definitely continue to repurchase it. After I use up whatever other eyeshadow primers I have in my collection, this is going to be my go-to and pretty much the only one that I, I repurchase. As for eyeliner, I've kind of been switching it up a little bit in 2018, so I haven't been sticking with the same liquid liners over and over. And right now I'm using one from Tarte and one from Smashbox, but the one that I probably repurchased the most is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. I think that I've discovered a few that I like a little bit more than this one, so I don't know if it will continue to be one of my most repurchased eyeliners, but I have gone through like at least five or six of these. It's just a nice brush tip liner. And if you like brush tip liners or you struggle with winged liner or liquid liner in general, this one's a great one to start with because it just goes on the eyes so easily. You can run into your drugstore and pick it up and it's not too dark and too dramatic. It doesn't bleed all over the place. It just goes on really well. As for pencil liner, the only pencil liner that I've really repurchased is this one from ColourPop. I only wear pencil liner on the waterline so it takes me a long time to go through them, but I do go through the ColourPop pencil liner in the shade Honey Dude very quickly because nude is just one of my go-to colors for the waterline. It just makes your eyes look bright and awake, and this had been my go-to nude liner for a very, very long time, so I've gone through a couple of these. So I'm kind of new to brow pencils. I just started using them in 2018, but I've already gone through so many of the NYX micro brow pencils. I go through brow pencils so quickly, which is kind of why I I don't like to repurchase high-end brow pencils very often because I do go through them so quickly. I've gone through the NYX Micro Brow Pencil like at least four or five times, which is crazy because I just got into brow pencils this year. So I do love this one. It is affordable and NYX is always on sale for like buy one, get one half off. And I think I just picked up some on the Ulta website the other day because it was like buy two, get one free. So I do appreciate that because I do go through this product so quickly, but it's a great option and it's really affordable. Along with the NYX Brow Pencil, I always use the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. So I do go through this very quickly because it is a product that I use almost every single day. Actually, when I don't use the NYX Brow Pencil, I still use this eyebrow gel just to kind of make them look a little bit more voluminous and lock them into place. It does have little fibers in it and it is a tinted brow gel, so it does make your brows look better on its own. And if you have naturally thick brows and you don't need to fill them in with a pencil or a powder, you might just like this product on its own. But this year alone, I think I repurchased this product like six times because it is a little bit on the smaller side and I do use a lot of it because I use it almost every single day. I just had to reapply my lipstick, so I've been testing out these Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks and I wore the shade Desert Suede the other day and it looked really beautiful, but I'm wearing the shade Sand today and it just looks so dry on the lips. It doesn't feel particularly drying, but it just like enhances all of the lines on my lips. So not sold on this yet. I don't know. Also, the shade is very light and I'm not used to wearing like such light nudes, so I can't decide how I feel about it. So anyways, moving on to cheek products and lip products. Cheek products and lip products are a little bit more difficult for me because I rarely finish up like bronzers, blushes, highlighters, and lip products. So I don't continuously repurchase the same shades over and over. So for cheek products, I actually chose products that 
I love the formula so much, so I've actually repurchased additional shades from the line because I've never finished up an entire blush or an entire highlighter. I have finished up a bronzer, and my most repurchased bronzer is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I think that I've repurchased this three times, which is kind of a lot because bronzers are so hard to use up for me personally. The first time I finished up this bronzer, I used it every single day or every single time I wore makeup, which was pretty much every day, for over a year before I finished it up, which is awesome because it's not super expensive, so you don't have to invest a lot of money you know, into this bronzer because you can use it super often and you'll never hit pan on it. It comes with 0.38 ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I swear this bronzer lasts forever. So I've repurchased it like three times, which isn't a ton, but that definitely makes it my most repurchased bronzer. The number one blush that I've repurchased multiple times is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. And of course, I don't mean like the same shade over and over because I have a mini blush in the shade Mood Exposure and that's like my most worn blush and you cannot even see like a dip in the product because, you know, I'm so light handed. But on top of that, I just feel like blush is very hard to use up. But I love this blush formula so much that I have multiple shades that I keep buying it. It's like my number one go-to blush. So it's kind of the same case with highlighters. If I've never used up a blush, there's no way on earth that I will ever use up a highlighter. I, I'm just very light-handed on top of that. Like you just need such a small amount of highlighter. Even if you apply it like all over the place, you're still using a fairly small amount compared to other powder products. So I do have two lines that I will continue to repurchase that are like my most repurchased highlighters. The first one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Line. I love these highlighters. I think I have like four or five of them and then I have a bunch of like limited edition or mini highlighters. They're just so good. It's definitely my most repurchased highlighter of all time. My favorite shade is definitely opal and if I ran out of it, like I would repurchase it. But you know, I don't think I'll ever see the need to repurchase a highlighter because they last basically forever, at least in my case. And then the other one is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. These are my favorite from the drugstore. Really just some of my favorite in general. These two, these two formulas are the best. And honestly, I could probably get rid of all of my highlighters and only have these in my collection, but it is nice to have other options as well. There are so many lip product formulas that I love that I didn't really want to do the same thing with lip products because we would be here all day long if I were to go through all of like my most repurchased lip gloss, lipstick, lip liner, or liquid lipstick formulas. I don't know, maybe I can do a video on my favorite lipsticks. So I just kind of narrowed it down to two lip products that I repurchase over and over. The first one is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. This is a very specific product. I do like the ColourPop Lippy Pencils so much. They are one of my favorite lip liner formulas, but I have repurchased the shade BFF multiple times because it's just my perfect go-to nude lip liner. I wear it with everything, with every single nude or pink lipstick. And even if I'm wearing a dark lipstick sometimes I'll go in with this one just because it looks like my lip colors so it's the perfect shade to just fill them in and define them before I apply any lip product and then this is the lipstick line that I've been wearing for years at this point it's from wet n wild and these are their I can't remember which line it is specifically but they come in the black tubes I've actually repurchased specific shades because they do expire eventually so I've had to go and repurchase my favorites like cherry bomb and sugar plum fairy over and over but my favorite lipstick in the whole world is bear it all but because I've loved this formula for so long I've either lost them or like I said they've expired over the years so I have repurchased them multiple times they're so good they're like two dollars I definitely recommend them Okay, so that is the end of my video. I just wanted to go through and share like my most repurchased products of all time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments below which products you constantly repurchase so I can check them out if I haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.